Today we're gonna talk about the Huion Canvas 16 Pro 2.5K. This tablet alongside the Pro 13 2.5K variant was released back in January of 2022. Huion were kind enough to send us this review copy and while this video is sponsored, everything said here is our own opinion. And before we start, if you like these tech reviews and you wanna see more, drop a like on the video and subscribe so we don't miss any future uploads and let us know down in the comment section below what you want to see next. So, the 16 Pro. Similar to previous pen displays we reviewed on this channel, the Canvas 16 is no different. This is just a display that you can draw on and it is not a standalone PC, so you will need to hook this to a desktop or a laptop to be able to use it. Hoyon actually not long ago launched the 16 Studio, which is actually a standalone tablet but that's a subject for another video. So if you are a digital artist and you are in the market for an affordable, good-looking, well-built and honestly not as small of a display tablet that also can be portable, then this might be just for you. From what I can see, it takes a lot of boxes and it does almost everything right, but we're gonna come back to that. Now let's do some unboxing. First, you get the box. As you can see, we own boxes are not so impressive. They should probably let me design their packaging in the future because this is kind of boring. I mean, compared to other tablets. But I don't know, I'm just saying. And since we are not here for the box, let's throw that aside and the first thing we see is the display. It's not too heavy and not too light and it feels sturdy. But let's put that aside for now. Next on the side inside the box, you will find a trusty glove which is included with all of Huion products. It's standard fabric, also power adapter, in addition to a bunch of USB cables. The red ones are for power and the single USB-C cable which allows you to use the tablet with just one cable which is awesome. This in addition to many other cables. And finally in this small box is a piece of cleaning cloth and a manual, which I don't really need because I've done this before. Next is the aluminum stand. Well, it's not the best out there, but it serves the purpose. It also has three tilt bevels, so you can adjust that to your liking. And lastly, underneath the stand, you have the pen and the donut pen holder, which includes more nibs inside. Nothing we haven't seen before. The Hoyong Canvas pen is great, and it feels good in the hand, and it grips really well and feels lightweight. And this is now everything in the box. Next, let's see the display. The screen is 1440 pixels, so that's where the Q in QHD comes from, which means 2560 pixels wide and 1440 pixels width, which results in a pixel density of 168 ppi, pixel per inch. The screen also covers a 145% sRGB color gamut and has a viewing angle of 178 degrees. The screen also comes with an etched anti-glare fully laminated glass. This is not a screen protector, this is just the screen itself and the laminated part just means the parallax between the pen pointer and the drawing surface underneath is non-existent. If you ever used non-laminated displays before, you can feel the gap between the glass and the drawing surface, but these recent laminated screens address the issue and it feels much better and feels more precise to draw on these things. On the left, you have an assortment of 8 fully customizable express keys, which I personally prefer a lot better than some of the touch sensitive ones we see for example with the Gamma recent displays, and better than the Canvas 16 Pro 4K which doesn't have express keys on the display at all. You can call me old school, but when I click something, I like to feel it go and click. And I don't think this is too much to ask. The back of the display is aluminum with four rubber feet so the display can be used flat on its back or it can be used on angled surfaces without sliding. On the top right and on the side of the shortcut keys, you have two types of inputs. One of them is for power and if you have a video compatible USB-C output on your laptop or desktop, you can use a single cable, if not, you can use the 2-in-1 provided HDMI cable in the box. Generally speaking, the build quality is pretty good. It doesn't feel extremely premium, but it doesn't feel cheap either. And I think it is a good balance. Now for the stand, we have the Hoyon ST200 stand. 
It is a typical stand that is included with most of Huion displays, but it is a good starter stand. It is mostly aluminum with a plastic base, but it has rubber in all of the right places, so sliding won't be an issue. In addition, it has multiple angles that you can use, but if you need more flexibility, you might want to check one of the third-party stands. However, the stand feels fine and I think it is perfectly good, although I would have hoped for more angles. I mean, it seems like all they have to do is drill more notches on the plasticky part, but I'm just nitpicking at this point. Next is the pen. The stylus is using Huion Pentec 3.0 which is Huion's pen tablet technology that supports 60 degrees of tilt and 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is common with all pens these days, and this is nothing we haven't seen before, but the drawing experience with the pen was very pleasant, no wobbles, no overshoot, and it was precise. The pen also comes with more replacement nibs inside the donut. I personally used the white felt nibs to add more grip, so yeah, the pen is pretty good. Now, for the installation, it was a fairly straightforward process. I just installed the driver, hooked the display using the USB-C cable, and I was good to go. Some people reported a bit of issues with the driver. Me, I didn't face any issues, and it was smooth sailing from the start to finish. I used Photoshop and Blender mainly, but both worked flawlessly with the display. But some people reported missing some features when using Krita or Illustrator, I did not test those personally, but let us know in the comment sections down below if you face any of these issues. The software allows you to customize everything from the express keys on the side of the display to the shortcut buttons on the pen as well as the work area and so on. It also includes display settings like color temperature and brightness in addition to contrast, saturation and so on as well as aspect ratio and various other settings that you can also access from the OSD window on the display itself by holding the power button for a few seconds. So generally speaking, I think the bumping resolution from 1080p to 1440p is very noticeable because everything looks sharp and the QLED screen provides extremely accurate colors and sharp images and there aren't too many things to nitpick, maybe the bigger bezels or the placement of the input at the top causes cables to bend over time. But honestly, this is a very safe purchase if you need a somewhat cheaper display with a good build quality and a great color accuracy and outstanding drawing experience. So if you want to check out Huion Canvas 16 Pro QHD, you can follow the link in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.